Hey guys, I'm gonna give you guys a current update on a news drop. We got a lot of insane things happening down in Venezuela, if you don't know what's going on there. And not sure if you guys saw this beauty right here in the Olympics in Paris doing a big representation. Looks like she's out for millions because she's saying she's gonna prosecute people for intimidation. And what's this? The FBI has been caught cooking the books on crime statistics coming from the Washington Examiner and Fox News. I'm not sure you saw this breaking news. The crew is vomiting. It's pretty bad, they say. A biohazard on the United flight yesterday. And that's a little nerve wracking because I've been seeing more and more stuff regarding the airlines. And just because I know you guys are aware of a lot of what's going on. Zelensky's wife apparently just purchased an almost $5 million car. Some might say US tax dollars hard at work. And for those of you that took the old C. Vitter Vaxaru, you guys aren't out of the woods yet because it looks like they get immunity for what they may have screwed up and signed into 2023. That was implemented by Biden for the CVID until December 31st of 2024. So basically, if anything happens, those folks, which there's a lot, and with various circumstances, just not much you can do if something goes wrong until December 31st of 2024, which I bet at that point, it will be extended. And icing on the cake, breaking news, Elizabeth Warner has confirmed that KH will grant citizenship to 10 million that have come across. More on that. Like I said, crazy information y'all need to know affects you, coming right up. My name is Cohen here at Riverside Homestead, and if you're brand new here, welcome. If you guys are into prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and most of all, news and awareness, stuff that you wanna know about, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. Okay guys, welcome back. As we're going into the midweek, a bunch of stuff that we probably need to know about that's happening now in the news. And before we get going, can you guys do me a favor and just check to see if the subscribe button still clicked on? I'm still getting crazy messages from people like you. Say that they hit the like button. People claiming those likes don't get through and their subscriber button is off. And when their notification button is on, they're still not getting notified. Wonder why, right? Thanks for checking guys. Okay, so one of the biggest things in the news right now is the whole huge election debacle in Venezuela. Let's just cover that real quick before we get to some of the juicy stuff. Right here, you can see some outfits throwing free bread to all of the Venezuelans that are protesting. Free bread, free bread, getting thrown out. Look guys, a lot of world news stuff happens that us in the United States just don't ever get to see very often. So it's important for you guys to do your own research. Check out world news, see what's going on. See what other people are putting out there. I'll tell you, it's heating up down there. Breaking angry protesters are tearing Hugo Chavez statues in Venezuela after the election results. All kinds of posts floating around this one. Venezuela's right wing opposition and U.S. media outlets claim there was fraud in the July 28th election based off an exit poll done by the U.S. government linked firm Edison Research, which works with the CIA linked U.S. state propaganda organs and was active in Ukraine, Georgia and Iraq. So disclaimer, I don't know if this is true. This is where you guys got to do your own research, but this is what's going around on social media. Breaking WikiLeaks confirms that the exit poll for the Venezuelan election was conducted by a firm backed by the CIA. Is that true or is that not true? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. So you guys can dig into that. I just wanted to scratch the surface so you guys knew what was going on. Big, huge deal down there. It'd be like us having huge riots here and people hitting the streets, which we may see in the coming months, right? Also in the news, a lot of people have seen this gal right here um, regarding the Olympics and that big, huge show that we had to put in front of the entire world, which 
a lot of people wouldn't agree with. It says here, now breaking Barbara Butch, which apparently is that gal's name, the woman who off, I don't even know if we can say woman, right? Who offended millions of Christians during the opening ceremony of the Olympics in Paris, allegedly will be suing and attempting to prosecute anyone for intimidation. Is it not just insane what you can make a lawsuit out of these days? You get intimidated, you get your feelings hurt. Well, the reality is the system we have in place, that situation cr can create millions to support the things that not everyone agrees with. Anyway, I don't even wanna go in any further into that ugly scenario. Another crazy thing that I got sent by viewers like you is this right here. Right here in this X post, it states, the FBI has been caught cooking the books on crime statistics. Prominent Democrats have been all over the media saying crime rates are down. Turns out that's a lie per this post. The Washington Examiner did some digging and discovered that the FBI has been cooking the books. Interesting, no one else can do that, right? The Bidenio administration using Enron style accounting to cook the books on everything, from crime to border to economy. And then the media reports, they are just regurgitating the propaganda. Let's see what uh, Fox News had to say about that opinion. Guys, I gotta say opinion, I have to say allegedly, I have to say all that stuff because I'm on thin ice for you guys. Why do they say crime's down? A new report from the FBI shows that there was a 13% decline in murder. Despite what the data shows, which we've been talking about, the fact that crime is going down in most places is not registering with the public. I can safely walk my dog mm -hmm. to the Capitol today in a way that you couldn't do uh, when, uh, when we all got here. I'm glad Pete can walk his dog, but why should we believe the FBI? Well, turns out we shouldn't. The Washington Examiner did some digging and discovered the FBI has been cooking the books. Did you know about half the country doesn't send their crime statistics to the FBI? So the FBI just estimates the number of crimes and then they estimate in the wrong direction. Murders are actually up 23% across 70 cities since 2019. In Milwaukee, the FBI reported a 13% drop in robberies. But Milwaukee police reported a 7% increase. The Biden administration is using Enron style accounting to cook the books on everything from crime to the border to the economy. And then the media reporters, they just regurgitate the propaganda and they wonder why the country's soured. We don't trust them and Trump's winning. So that's coming from Jesse Waters at Fox News. So again, that may be true, that may be false, but it's definitely something worth digging into and definitely something worth thinking about. But let's end on this. This is just what we're, we're looking at. Supposedly, the FBI says it's down 13% and the police say it's up 7%. FBI in an office somewhere or local police. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. And did you hear the rumor of what Zelensky's wife just bought? No flipping way. But real quick, this came out yesterday breaking. The crew is vomiting. It's pretty bad, in quotes. How did someone get a biohazard onto a United flight number UA2477 yesterday? Per this post, good question. United Airlines crew and passengers vomiting due to a biohazard from a passenger and a flight diverted to duels as UA2477 Boeing 737-800IAHBOS this afternoon. And you can see here in this picture, the flight pattern. I to the doctor and I talked to the, uh, the crew and it sounds like uh, it's, it's quite bad back there. It's still really bad. The, the crew is vomiting and uh, passengers all around are, are asking for masks, pardon me, et cetera. And uh, it sounds like, uh, I think, you know, 20-minute flight to Cleveland is probably the better option instead of going an hour and 40 to uh, straight ahead to Boston, uh, especially with it kind of being a biohazard. I think we need to probably get this plane on the ground. What would that feel like to you? Can you imagine being on a plane with a supposed biohazard that's making everybody puke on the plane and they're frantically trying to get the plane on the ground, not knowing what the heck's going on. Tell you what, I wouldn't want to be in that scenario. That's for dang sure.
I was also sent this right here. Heading US tax dollars are hard at work. It says, breaking, Zelensky's wife allegedly purchased the newest Bugatti Turbillion for 4.5 million, which is 4.8, I think, in their currency. French journalists obtained an invoice showing the car's base price of nearly 4 million euros with 500 euros in options, 500,000 euros in options. Allegedly, Zelensky will receive her car in 2026. And there is the invoice paper that they're showing. If that's true, that's insane. Hypothetically, she did order the new Bugatti. You think she deserves a Bugatti? Tell me down in the in the comments below. Okay, before I tell you what old Cami Harasita is doing, uh, this I want to tell you about this other thing. So someone from the community sent me this from hhs.gov. It's Public Readiness and Emergency Preparedness, PREP Act. And it's an update, 11th Amendment to Declaration under the PREP Act for the sea bitter, 19er medical countermeasures. I gotta say it like that, guys, because they will slow the roll. You go down here to the highlighted section. It says the declaration provides immunity from liability except for willful misconduct for claims. Also in highlighting, it says of loss caused arising out of related to or resulting from administration or use of countermeasures to the thing, threats, and conditions. You guys know what that means. A lot of people read into that and that's basically saying no liability. So you look it up, quick results show that, you know, is it still active? Yep, what amendment is the PREP Act? Under the amendment planned since April, PREP Act liability immunity will apply through 2024 to all the CVIDs medical countermeasures and activities provided through the federal agreement. So for those of you that may have been strong armed, some people had to deal with it and it was just downright tricky circumstances. Now I'm not gonna tell you guys whether it was right or wrong. What I wanna say is those that did aren't out of the woods. If something goes down and it happens to be really bad because they are taking, from what it looks like in my opinion, zero responsibility how can you feel really good about that and i saved kind of some crazy best but not best for last um breaking news elizabeth warren has confirmed that cami harasita will grant citizenship to 10 million illegals that have came across now this is the buzz i don't know if this is true but let's see what cnn has to say about it the border to have more resources in the states and cities that are supporting migrants. And I believe we need to create a pathway to citizenship. All of that is part of what we need to do for comprehensive immigration reform. Kamala Harris will work with Congress and get that done. So CNN just said Kamala Harris will work with Congress and get that done. Now, like I said, the validity of these claims are questionable. You guys always have to do your own research. What are people saying? This person says 10 million, try 25 million. This person says one day that organization will throw our borders wide open and they're saying Sherrod Brown did nothing to stop them. What this person says might align with what a lot of you guys think. So comprehensive immigration reform means replacing Americans with the illegs. What do you guys think? This person says that is not okay. Another person says this and a lot of people say this. That was the plan all along. This guy says, oh, H-E double hockey sticks, no. Not when we're struggling over here as real citizens, right? And is this what's going on? Everyone was right about the great replacement. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know with a like if you like these type of updates. Share it if you found something valuable. Got more coming down the pipe. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you guys on the next one.